Well, here is the newest 1930s Kenmore automatic upright. From what I, as far as I know, this is all original. That bumper is kind of falling apart, but it's not too bad. Uh, it does have the original cloth covered cord, which um, has been wrapped in electrical tape for safety's sake. I don't know if it's really that safe anymore, but <laughs> it works for now. I'm going to end up replacing it probably. This looks like the original hand grip. The bag, it's very faded, but you can just barely make out the Kenmore logo. It doesn't have a, it has a headlight, but the bulb is burnt out. And it's got this little mystery switch back here, which I'm assuming turns the headlight on and off, but I won't know until I, um, until I get the right bulb for it. Um, it is a shakeout bag, so you just unclip it here, pull that off, and then take the bag off and uh, take the clip off the top and uh, go shake it out. I just vacuumed it out earlier, flipped it inside out, and cleaned it all up. Okay, so now's the fun part. Um, it's got this little switch back here, and it doesn't stay up on its own. Unfortunately, I don't even think this thing originally had a handle spring. So you do have to lean it up against something. The belt I have in here is a Eureka, or Dirt Devil, sorry, Dirt Devil style 15 belt. And it seems to work okay. And before I turn it on, I'll go ahead and show you the brush roll. It does have one. Don't know how well you can see that, but it's a single row. And it's, it looks almost new. It's not worn down or anything. Oops. It's polished aluminum, so it's awful pretty. Okay, so, go ahead and fire it up. It has that very distinct um, startup sound to it. It's like, well, it's a Burtman motor. Kind of like the old Apex or Premier uprights. So, here we go. It really isn't that loud, and it does beat the pump pretty well. It's a little rough, I suppose, but that's because it's so darn old. Anyways, there you go. 1930s Kenmore automatic upright.